Hi guys, what's going on? Today in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to use Sony Vegas Pro 15 for completely beginners, okay? And yeah, if you guys don't have the Sony Vegas Pro 15, don't worry or don't freak out. You guys can always ask me on my Facebook page. So the link will be under my description as well. So let's get started this video right now. So guys, let me tell you first that if you guys want to make a stunning video with a Vegas Pro editor, you can do that as well, okay? So Vegas Pro 15 is also the good video editor. You guys can make a stunning video with Sony Vegas. And if you guys are just a YouTuber like me and making some tutorial, it's also possible with this video editor. And also you guys can make some, uh, you know, vlog or cool stuff as well. So the very first thing is that you guys want to uh, go ahead on a setting and you want to uh, set up a project first okay so it, this depends on your uh, video uh, you know resolution like I'm making this video like a 1080 and if you guys want to make a 720 you guys can put that resolution here 720 here and on the frame rate you want to also choose the frame rate because the video I'm using will be an alternative per second so if, it, so if you guys are regulating your video on a 50 or a 60 you guys can also choose from here, it's on a 50 and a 60 will be 59.94 so you guys can use that as well and the next thing here is that on a full render quality you want to put this good from the best so that it will render the quality on the best and then on the resample mode you want to disable the resample because if you guys don't disable this resample it will create some ghosting effect and it will look very much bad while you render the video out okay so uh, once you have done this then i recommend you guys to change your template name as your project file as a project name so my project name will be youtube for this test so this will be youtube and you can just save this uh, template and click on save anyway and then you can see you can now choose your template just like this on a youtube or uh, if you guys don't want this then you guys can also choose the internet like something shit like that okay but uh, for this video, I'll be using this YouTube and now click and apply once you are done and click on OK. So here is a tricky part now. If you guys have never used a Vegas Pro, uh, you want to see and focus over here as well. The first thing is that we want to import our all of the media here and then you want to uh, import uh, those video clips on your timeline and do some stuff. So let's get started with the project media first. So the very first thing is that I would recommend you guys, okay, I highly recommend you guys to create a folder for your project video. So just like this on my project uh, drive here, I recommend you guys to create a, you know, simple folder just like this for your uh, Sony Vegas only. So create a uh, Sony Vegas folder and then you want to create uh, your channel name folder then you want to create this all the folders okay like you're importing raw audio and video and after that you want to also use the intro loaders or whatever else that you want to include just to make those folder because this will make your uh, files organized well and you won't be hesitating later and I highly recommend you guys to do this so you can see my video is over under raw footage in here and also if, if you want to include your audio you guys can also do here so that it will be uh, you know managed properly and I won't be you know confusing where the files are gone heck what the heck you know so guys I recommend you guys to you know try to include this all of the folder so that it will be organized well and come back to your Vegas once you are done and also you guys want to save your uh, Vegas Pro bake file so to do that you guys can do it on file and go to save as and save this file on the same folder so that you guys could find this uh, file easily so let's say that this is a youtube file and i will save this as a youtube.veg and save this file so once you are done now it's time to import your video files and audio files so you can see here um, i do have a video file on the raw import now you guys can do this on the two ways the first thing is that you guys can simply drag and drop here just like that and the next thing here is you guys can also go to the file and import this as a media so i'll be importing a royalty free track from here so let me go to my uh, drive here on the project and sony vegas so now you can see this is making more much more productive and much more you know easier to navigate so i just recommend you guys to put this on 
uh, some folders just like that so it would be organizable so now I'm going to import the royalty free track and now this is your two files okay these are your two video and audio files this is this is my uh, royalty free track so if you guys want to include your royalty free track uh, I'm in a copyright free if you guys use some kind of Taylor Swift song it will get a copyright so I recommend you guys to use the royalty free track uh, from the NCS I mean a no copyright sound so you guys can just uh, you know google it out and you guys can find out all of the royalty free sound so now let's go and import this video onto the timeline just like this and you guys want to click on the no and this would be showing just like that simply now all you guys can do is zoom and unzoom it just like that if you guys think you have you know really big you guys can also make this a small just like this double clicking on this scroll bar and to make the big you guys can also double click again just like that so now to put your audio or your royalty free track just drag and drop simply just like this and you can see um, if you guys want to add some layer like a video track or audio track you guys can do that as well so to do that you guys can uh, right click here and then insert the audio track if you guys want to uh, you know set the audio track like that and if you guys want to uh, add some video track right click and add the video track just like that so there we go now let's say guys you want to uh, move these layers to, so to move the layers is so simple so just drag this and drop this on a number two just like that so now you can see uh, it just transfer from one to two like so uh, you guys can now add some you know clips there or uh, if you don't want then you guys can also move on the up just like that and now you can see that this video is about nine minutes long and for this video tutorial I'll be just using this video clip as a one minute so I will be trimming or you know cutting this video on just for one minute okay, head over onto the one minute over here just like that so guys to cut this video all you guys need to do is press s on the keyboard and it should split a video just like that and next thing yeah, you guys can delete this or if you don't want to uh, you know do this way there is another way as well so control G to undo and merge the clip now all you guys want to do here is right click and trim to end okay just like that you will get a short nice one clip okay just like that so now guys let's say you want to separate the audio and video layer okay so to do that all you need to do is right click and then go to your group and remove from okay click on the remove from or press on U and it should remove you the audio and video track just like that it's so simple right so now you can delete the audio track if you don't like so I will delete this audio and replace with this music file here now if I try to play so guys now if I try to play this video you can see that it's working full so if you guys do have your stuttery video like here uh, it's just lag lag a lot I recommend you guys to put this a draft and on the full okay if you guys do have a good computer I mean a good computer really a best computer then you guys can put this on the best and full and guys you can play this on a full SD but make sure you guys do have a good computer so I'll be setting this on a draft and full which makes really good I forgot to tell you one thing that if you guys do have something missing here I just recommend you guys to uh, go onto the view and on the windows layout uh, put this onto the default layout okay so it will be just normal as fresh installed Vegas Pro 15 just like that it should be on a normal this is something same like mine so now you guys can see that this audio is also gone out over here so you guys can do is two things either you can cut this out or you can also drag this just like that okay it's just simple so to cut this file you can just use the s to split and right click and delete this it's that simple right so now you can you know uh, double click to the scroll bar and you can see uh, how many layers as well so we do have the five layer you can see uh, so to unzoom you can do that like that so all right guys now let's put some text or uh, some legacy text okay so to do that you want to go to your meta generator and you guys can click on the legacy text and you guys can just import this and 
and you guys can just drag and drop onto where you want to show so I want to show this uh, legacy text on the video beginning just like that and it should pop you up just like this so on here I want to put here as a vlog one you guys can also put anything you want and to preview this you can you know put this cursor over here and you can see on a screen it should be just simply looking like that now all you want to do is you can also you know change your font so I'll be changing this font onto a games and the font link will be in my description as well if you guys want to use so uh, if you guys want to color this font all you guys want to do is go to the properties and choose a text color okay don't go to the background color if you use the background color it feels just messed up like this and you won't be able to do anything but you guys can decrease this opacity as well just like that okay so uh, you want to color the font then you guys can just use the text color and set this as a red pink whatever else that you want so let's use this one and for the FX you guys can blend this out like a outline and, and giving a shadow and it's that simple you guys can see that it's taking some effects so now if you guys don't want to place this text on the middle you guys can go to the placement and put somewhere else like left right or middle wherever you want so guys for this tutorial I'll be using this text on the middle side like that so once you are happy with your font you guys can just close that out let's say that you want to put some transaction or uh, some effect like you guys can play this you can see it don't make sense at all like that okay so to make some uh, cool effect you want to put some transition so go to transition and you guys can put any of this transition so zoom this out just like that a little bit just zoom that out okay and then you can put this slot machine and then drop that once the plus sign is uh, shown onto your cursor just drop that out and click on cross then you can play and see that so now you can see that it just uh, works super fine so let me drag this audio a little bit like that and drag in here so onto the video you want to fade it out then it's so simple so on this blue bar as you guys can see on the here is a blue bar all right so you guys want this protector sign and then drag this little bit like that you can see now it's, it will be faded so let's play that so it look pretty cool right or if you guys also want to you know move this uh, text a little bit just like that when the fade is ended then you want to uh, you know pop this up just like this one and there we go boom so vlog one it started now uh, this is the editing style okay if you want to cut some you know bad scenes like let's say this is a bad scenes for example if you want to cut this you want all you want to do is press on yes and let's say the bad part is up to here and I want to split here again press on yes again to cut that out and then right click and delete this or you can simply press on delete icon and drag this and join this just like that and play that out And it just jumped to there okay so it's that simple guys it just jumped to there so it's that simple guys so uh, all you guys want to do right now is you want to put some watermark so let's put some text watermark if you guys want to put some logo watermark I'll make a separate video for you guys so so right now let's put some you know text watermark but so to put some text watermark we need a video layer okay just like this one we need to put some video layer so to do that right click and then you want to insert a video track above okay you want to put the video track above your video layer so that your watermark will be seen on a different level so all you want to do is go to your media generator and go to the legacy text again and drag and drop so now here you want to type your channel name so 
let's put some channel name so let's say that okay hacks this is a channel name okay for example you can see now this will be in the middle you can see right so you can you know simply post it on the middle or wherever you want so you want to also decrease a font onto theme or if you feel like it's not good you can you guys can increase this all oh okay i think so uh, 28 is a good one so again i will change this font to the agents and you can see that it is looking really cool and you can just drag and you guys can put this onto your top layer just like that and then you guys can go to your properties so color that out your font it should be something color that you want and the effect you guys can draw the line or give the shadow if you don't want to draw the line because it looks really weird so cross that out now you can see your watermark is there and you guys can do is uh, drag this entire onto the video uh, timeline just like that and now all you guys want to do is decrease your opacity if you guys uh, you know slide this down it will decrease its opacity like you can see it will be just normal like that now and this is the copyrighted video <laughs> by your channel name so now you guys know that how to include your watermark as well and guys i also recommend you guys to save your project file uh, because in accident something might happen so just go ahead and save your video uh, project file now you can close the video editor again and you can open the file it will be loaded on the same uh, same timeline okay so guys now you can add anything that you like okay so guys to fade out you guys can pull that from here and fade that out and you guys can play with your uh, transition uh, there are a lot of transition you guys can see that you guys can see that there are a lot of transition right so you can put any kind of transition that you love and you guys can also put some fade effect onto your music file like this one and right now if you play the video you can see the audio is really really loud so to decrease your audio all you want to do is volume slider down now that makes really the same right so guys let's say you do have a voice over audio then this is the best part you can you know uh, turn up turn down this volume and uh, make sure to turn on your uh, voice over volume a lot big and it will make sound very great so now let's say guys you want to delete this two layer so to delete this two layer at once you can do that at once as well so press and hold and control and it will select both and then you want to delete this then you guys can simply delete this track or if you want to duplicate the track you guys can right click and duplicate this track and later on you guys can delete this track as well so let's delete this track if i if you don't want so guys if you want to have a you know uh fashion for effect you can do that as well on the sony vegas pro 15 so it's really easy to do so let's say that i want to fast forward up to here on this this part of video now all you want to do is you want to split that clip and then select that video just like this one and now all you guys want to do is hold and control so now you guys can see that my mouse cursor have the web sign like something like that so guys now all you guys want to do here is just stretch down like that and it will just make a fast and forward so now if you try to play this video from scratch it's working perfect well so now all you need to do is you want to you know merge this clip over here just like this and just like this if you have no clip then you can extend this just like that or if you want to you know uh, drag this one like this one just like that simply and also for the audio yeah just like that now for end you want to also fade out so that you will get some nice fade away and you can see that it's going so much cool <laughs> okay so now all you want to do is you want to also give some thank you message right so now you guys want to go again on to the media generator 
and on the legacy text drag and drop onto this level on the second layer and type here I thank you for watching so you can see the font is pretty much big that it just cut off right so you can do is decrease this font and you can see uh, you you have this short and sweet font so now you can uh, just do like that or if you want to uh, uh, do something look like this one you can do that as well thank you for watching and you can increase the font as much you want now you can see it done cut off so you can place the placement if you want and if you want to color you can color that out I think so the white is good on this one and FX should be on in black and you can see it's looking so much cool let's give the final transition alright guys so I will give some top to bottom effect on this uh, font so there we go so now if you try to play this you can check that out bam so that's cool right so guys uh, you can also fade the font if you want just like that and the font will disappear and your video in so much smooth way like that and that's all so now if you guys are happy with your editing now all you guys want to do is you want to render this video and output a mp4 and upload it uh, anywhere else like youtube facebook or something else okay that you want to so to render the video all you want to do is you want to drag this loop area up to the end of the video okay so now all you want to do is to drag the uh, loop prison you can see there is a yellow mark like there you want to double click on the loop prison and you can see it just like from first to end of the video and now what you want to do is you want to render this video or if you guys want to render for a specific part just like you want to render up to here and select the uh, loop region up to here okay don't go for up to end but if you guys want to uh, render this all you want to render this all okay and don't go way more than that because it will render that as well so i recommend you to double click that so make sure to select the video i mean the end of the video and you guys are ready to render it out so guys now to render a video is so simple just go to your file and click on render as and then you guys want to select here as a magix fbc and you can see there are pretty much a bunch of uh, you know filters here and you want to choose some uh, good preset uh, you guys want to choose here as your video fps so mine is on 30 fps so i will use this one as a internet sd 1080p on 30 fps so if you do have the nvidia you can use the nvidia graphics card and uh, render that out because it will render that real faster so i do have the nvidia graphics cards so i will use this one and you want to browse uh, where to save your you know, file or video file and it will also show you the estimate file size so guys depending on your video length it will uh, give you the size it might even go to the gigabyte it doesn't matter at all you can convert that file later so just browse the folder and you want to bring that on the video or whatever you, that you want so i'll just save that out here and pretty much i'll render that out So guys now once your video is completely rendered you guys want to open your folder and you guys will get your video file just like that if you try to play this video you can see we do have the watermark and we also uh, do have the uh, this one and pretty much guys this is how you can edit a video it's just simple so guys thank you very much for watching this video if you do have any question leave a comment down below and i will see you guys in the next time